16,396. What do you think, Habs? What's your opinion on that? And again, I'm also a massive Matthews fan and a ma massive Leafs fan. So you can tell my aunt, like, I I'm not a big fan of how he, how he uh, acted, but I don't think he should have fought. If that makes tons of sense. We've got a dual rookie jersey for the Philadelphia Flyers, Cam York. Uh, Mitchell, it's posted in the thread. If you go to the search bar, type in the group break number on the top. It will help you uh, find the break and tell you who you have. Threads of time for the Penguins of Matt Murray. Murray. Pittsburgh Penguins. And, of course, anyone else can answer that question, too. Number to 65 for Boston of Brad Marchand. What do you guys think about that? Honest opinions. Nice. We've got a rookie to nine ninety nine. Lucas Raymond. Detroit. Lucas Raymond. Four ninety nine for Tampa Bay of Andre Palat. Four ninety nine for the Vegas Golden Knights of Alex Tuck. Auto fax. This team is everywhere tonight. Paul Mary for the Islanders. But yeah, just just to me, if I saw that, for example, Hobbs, and a nine ninety nine Byfield for LA rookie. If I saw that in the playoffs as a teammate, I, I would be a little kind of aggravated on that. Again, just my opinion as a player. Yeah, when uh, when he was getting grabbed from the back and kind of yanked and he was just smiling, that annoys me. Like, I understand. Here's the other thing. If a guy whacks you, maybe look at him and smile. That's okay with it. Right? Aggravate him, maybe take a stupid penalty. But when there's actually pushing and shoving going on, just grab a guy. You don't even have to fight him. Just grab him. We've got a rookie dual jersey of Spencer Knight for Florida. I, I just feel like that comes across really wrong. I don't know why. Nice. Clear cut rookie. Lucas Carlson. Why is it? I, I'm all for players smiling at other players and aggravating them just at the right time. I don't think that was the right time. Threads of time for the Ottawa Senators, Eric Carlson. I feel like that's not a thread from Ottawa. A licking. Oh, God, no. Don't be doing the Marchand. Number to 75 for the Rangers, Mika Zabinijad. $4.99 for the Coyotes of Keller. But I will say I loved how the Leafs responded. I love how they came in there and beat the poop out of people. $4.99 for the Hawks of Pui Suter. Or, um, look at the timing on this one. Brad Marchand. Boston Bruins. Brad Marchand. Or. And we got a 599 Ottawa Kachuk. Yeah. But again, as I said, under no circumstances do I think he should fight. Absolutely not. I think that is a bonehead move for any superstar. Like even small guys, like I, like Cole Caulfield should never ever have to fight. One punch breaks his hand. He's out for like a month or two. Dumb move. Or gets knocked out, or something happens. Not worth the risk. Ninety-nine rookie for the Panthers of Spencer Knight. Spencer Knight. 
It never ends up well, yeah. Four ninety nine for the Avalanche of Grubauer. We've got a remnant for the Vegas Golden Knights, Alex Petrangelo. Remnants. We've got a treasured swatches for the Panthers of Huberto. Huberto. We've got a four ninety nine for the Oilers of Tyson Berry. One ninety nine dual jersey of David Pasternak. You know what the one stat that they said during the Boston game that um, I I don't know the exact numbers, so I apologize, but I was kind of blown away by it. Four ninety nine for the Maple Leafs of Jake Muzzin. And if somebody watched that Leaf game, can you try to remind me exactly what it was? Five ninety nine for Calgary of Goudreau. I'm pretty sure they said in the last like five or seven years that Brad Marchand was one of the top five goal scorers. And considering you had guys like Dre Seidel, McDavid, um, Matthews, Ovi, you know, McKinnon, all these guys, he was in there as a top five goals in the last five years like I honestly that shocked me we've got a teammate dual jersey to 249 Gensel and Malkin I, I just never envisioned them as a big goal scorer I've always thought he's a very, very highly ta talented player. Another threads of time for the Oilers of Taylor Hall. But to be top five out of all the other great goal scorers in the last like four or five years, that honestly shocked me. Number to 75 for the Boston Bro or sorry, for the Pittsburgh Penguins of Malkin. Habs, I would love if someone could find it, because I would love to know exactly what they said. McTavish, $9.99 for the Anaheim Ducks. McTavish. $4.99 for Ottawa of Shabbat. Four ninety nine for the Oilers of Tyson Berry. Auto fax for the Boston Bruins of Frederick. How many goals did Brad Marchand have in the last five years? That might help us. Trent Frederick. Dude, I'm very anxious to know what that stat was. And a five ninety nine for the Avalanche, Joe Sackick. No small amount here. Where is it over here? Because maybe it just worked out because of the COVID years and stuff like that. But like, I know they said something about him, and I was I literally almost did not believe it. So maybe either the you know the announcers were wrong in what they were stating. But I'm like 99% sure they said goals. Number to 75 for the Montreal Canadiens. Tyler Toffoli. $4.99 for the Boston Bruins. David Pasternak. Another Threads of Time for the Boston Bruins. Zdeno Chara. 159 goals in the last five years. Is that correct, Tab? Is that what you're saying? Well, to be honest, that actually might be a top five then. I can't think of many other guys who might have 160 goals in that time. Calgary Flames, Markstrom. Markstrom. $4.99 
Four ninety nine for Tampa Vasilevsky. I gotta maybe watch a replay and see what they said. One ninety nine for the Vegas Golden Knights. Mark Stone. It's gonna annoy me now. Mark Stone. Four ninety nine for the LA Kings of Doughty. Oh, I would love a Brad Marshawn on my team. Four ninety nine for the Jets of Ealers. There she goes.